Hello everyone, my name is Christy. I'm a Venezuelan illustrator living in Stuttgart in the south of Germany. And I've been selected by Adobe to create an original piece of artwork funded by the Adobe Creative Residency Community Fund. And I'd like to show you guys how to use perspe perspective grids on Adobe Fresco. Uh, they're super easy to use. I hope my little tutorial helps in case you're having trouble. And yeah, uh, thank you Adobe for this opportunity. And to everyone on the internet, be sure to check out my work. I'm on Instagram under uh, christy.estanislao. And yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so here we are on Fresco. I created a poster size canvas and I already imported my very rough sketch into my iPad. So I will be adding that to my canvas now here on the image icon. Go to photos if you saved it under photos. And here it is, my little sketch. And now I'm going to um, turn it into a pixel layer so that I can um, crop it and move it around and do things with it. So yeah, I'm gonna crop everything that I don't need. And place it on the canvas at the right size. Great, I'm also going to turn the opacity down so that I can draw over it. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so now I can uh, activate the perspective grids, which is what I want to show you. So here on your toolbar on the right, you have your layers panel and you have the layer properties and the third one down um, is called precision and under precision you can activate this little button here called grids and it will give you a few options you can have a graph just a regular square graph uh, you can change the opacity you can change the color of the grid well, I'm going to use a perspective grid for this drawing, obviously, and leave it at one point perspective. And just for the sake of this tutorial, I will make it a bit stronger, change the color so that you guys can see. Great. You can also uh, change the density of the lines for your grid. So, yeah, this is very personal, however you prefer. And yeah, to edit your vanishing points, click on edit vanishing point. And now you can grab this little cursor here and move it around and place it wherever you see fit. So I have a bit of a funny perspective here from above. Great, so now that I have the perspective lines activated, I don't really need to see them because my pencil will snap to them automatically. So I'm gonna turn the opacity down quite a bit so that the lines are not in the way of my drawing. And now I'm gonna get on with the sketching. So now that I activated the grids, I can draw over my sketch and my pencil will just automatically snap to the perspective lines, which is amazing. It just makes it super easy to, to draw an accurate perspective. And yeah, there's not much more to it. And that's it for perspective grids. I hope this was helpful. I'm going to leave the time lapse of my illustration running so that you can take a peek into my messy process. And yeah, I hope everyone has a nice day and until next time.